Hi, how you doing? This is a game I played in the uh, New York Open many years ago. Uh, Scotch game. This is my first uh, experiment with the uh, Steinitz defense to the Scotch game. And here we go, attacking, attacking the uh, e pawn. Of course, bringing the queen out early is not recommended. Black takes advantage of that by attacking uh, c7, threatening to fork the, the uh, king and rook. White checks. There's a couple ways he could have interposed the bishop or interposed the pawn. Uh, pushing the pawn up, uh, black would just move back, uh, protecting c7. Or actually, he would go to uh, c5 first, uh, threatening, threatening mate. Yeah, so black decides to uh, live dangerously. White has humongous development here. And for his troubles, he gets a rook, a free rook. Black develops, threatening to bring the rook out. White decides that the, to get rid of the annoying bishop. The check is hard to uh, avoid. Now the threat is knight to d3, uh, mate. Queen a5 is, is better, giving uh, more room to the king, to the white king, if it has to wander during, around the back rank. At this point, I pick a rook up. And now, queen it to h4 is uh, virtually unstoppable. The king goes back. The king goes to uh, f1. Uh, queen f2 is mate. The king goes to to d1, there will be a check. Remember, the queen would be on h4. When the king moves back, there'll be a discovered check uh, with mate coming up. So at this point, uh, white, white gave up the ghost and resigned. Uh, really interesting game, a theoretical game, another one, I believe, uh, uh, similar to my uh, postal game which is played later. Uh, somewhere black, mis uh, excuse me, white mishandled the the uh, defense, which was supposed to be an attack, since black is the one that brought the queen out early and wandered around. Well, I hope you enjoyed the game and post any comments. Thank you.